In this tutorial, we will continue assembling this house uh, set with using different features other than the flash fit assembly. So, first, I'm going to rotate this a little bit. And I'm doing this actually for a particular reason. You'll see why in a second. We'll fit this to the screen. So now I'll drag in the part I want. Actually, I want to rotate a little more the X direction. Okay, drag in this wedge part and drop it. So the reason I rotated was that I could see over here in these parts. Um, like in the previous video, I rotated the part myself, but here I rotated the assembly I had so that when I drug the part over here uh, it would be close orientation so it would know more what I would desire when I go to assemble it so first I'm just going to use the standard flash fit for the same thing we've been doing so I'll select this face and select this face and so now we have two planes aligned so I'm going to rotate this to like let it be seen easily. So now you can see that it's not really square with this. These two parts are not aligned square in respect to these corners. So we could do different things. Um, we could mate this plane right here to this one and then it would align that but then we'd have a little trouble because we can't really mate anything on this part to get it aligned with that face there so we're gonna have to use a different technique so um, if I click the assemble feature um, I'm gonna change from flash fit to mate and this will be helpful uh, excuse me right click to exit that um, it's not mate I wanna do parallel so now I can select edges of parts and so let's do the top one first so I'll select this edge and I want to make it parallel to this edge so there you go now they're parallel and the same thing with the left side because it'll I want to shift this part to the left face so I'll um, make this edge parallel to this edge and if I rotate around I believe that's what what we wanted and so you can continue doing things like that uh, for features that you can't do with planar um, assemblage uh, as I mentioned once before one common one I would use would be axle line for circles now uh, so in this problem uh, there is a hemisphere that you created and uh, the hemisphere actually doesn't go in this section even though it fit really nice it actually goes on the opposite side which is a little unusual but for something like that you would select that feature that actual that actual feature and select the other one and it would insert it into that one and then you could use techniques that we already went over to assemble the face so that it's uh, not rotated too far so that it's in the right height in that axle.